it's no surprise that the official state dessert of Massachusetts is the Boston cream pie. With its luscious custard cream filling, moist layers of vanilla cake, and decadent chocolate ganache glaze, it's pretty irresistible. And today I'm gonna to teach you how to make a mini version. Start with melting six tablespoons of butter. This is nice creamery butter, unsalted, with a half a cup of whole milk. Now sift your dry ingredients. One and a half cups of all-purpose flour. To the flour, a half a teaspoon of salt, and I'm using kosher salt for my baking. And one and a half teaspoons of baking powder. The wire whisk works really well. And now you can also break three large eggs into the bowl of your mixer. Fitted with a flat blade. You see that nice flat blade? And for most um, baking of cakes and cupcakes, uh, keep your ingredients at room temperature. And beat those up with one cup of granulated sugar. Just add it gradually. Boston cream pie, it's a classic American dessert. It was first made in Boston in the 1850s. It's one of America's most recognized classic desserts. And legend has it that it was created by the hotel chef in honor of the opening of Boston's Parker House Hotel in 1856, the same hotel from which Parker House rolls come from. So get that nice and fluffy, and one teaspoon of vanilla. Simmering the milk and melting the butter in the milk before adding it into the cake batter actually helps the batter rise a little more and produces a finer texture than you would get otherwise. Reduce the speed and add your dry ingredients. You don't want to overbeat, but you want to make sure it's pretty well incorporated, the dry. There, that looks good. And I would lower the speed and add your butter and milk. Have muffin tins buttered and floured and fill these about halfway to the top with your batter. This much batter will make 18 cupcakes. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees. And we're ready to put these into the oven. They're going to bake until they're nice and springy to the touch, about 10 to 12 minutes. And now while the cupcakes are actually baking, uh, we have to make the vanilla cream filling. And what makes this pastry cream easy is that it's really a one pot recipe. Uh, one and a half cups of whole milk, add three nice large egg yolks. Whisk those together. And I'm doing it right in a measuring cup. A quarter of a cup plus two tablespoons of sugar, which equals six tablespoons of sugar altogether. Add three tablespoons of cornstarch. Nice level tablespoons. Lovely. And this can just be dumped right into your saucepan with a nice pinch of salt. Mm, dusty. And now add your milk and eggs. Whisk that all together. We have one and a half tablespoons of butter. We can just add that. Cook over a medium heat until it comes to a boil. Once this comes to a boil, let it boil for one whole minute. And the reason it has to come to a boil is because the cornstarch, which is the thickening agent for this uh, lovely pastry cream, doesn't activate, doesn't do its thickening until it reaches at least 203 degrees. And while cornstarch thickens as it heats, it also sets as it cools. Mm, here it goes. Can you see how it's thickened up? You want this to be very smooth, so just Put it through our strainer. And it's best to use a flexible rubber scraper to push through a strainer like this. First scrape off your spatula and then don't forget to scrape off the bottom. Because look how much is there. And it's all smooth and silky. Now stir in three quarters of a teaspoon 
of your best vanilla. Now before this will go into our cupcakes, we are going to let this cool. We don't want a skin forming on the top, which might happen. So cover with a piece of plastic wrap. Just put the plastic wrap right down on the surface. And this will have to chill for two hours. So here are the cupcakes, 10 minutes exactly. Let them sit in the pan for another 10 minutes and then remove to a rack to cool completely. It's so nice and all almost uniform except for that little one. Now the chocolate ganache. I'm heating a half a cup of heavy cream to add to four ounces of semi-sweet chocolate, very finely chopped, a pinch of salt, pour the heavy cream over the chocolate. This will melt the chocolate. We're also going to add two teaspoons of light corn syrup. And just whisk this slowly. You do want it to be smooth and shiny. So now, assemble the Boston Cream Pie Cupcakes. Cut the cupcakes in half with a serrated knife, as I am doing, and try to be neat. And I have the cupcakes on a rack on a cookie sheet. So if there's any drips, it'll just go right on the sheet. There, they're all cut. Whip the pastry cream with a whisk. You don't want it lumpy. You want it nice and smooth. You'll need a serving platter. This pedestal will be very nice. Now, take the top off. Put a nice amount of pastry cream in the middle and cover. Just a heaping tablespoon will do. Don't be skimpy. And then a little bit of the ganache on top. There is your Boston cream pie cupcake. And I think no matter how many I make, there won't be any left.